Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well and having a lovely day. So today I have a little home bargains haul and then a few little bits from B&M. It's not a massive haul, but it's the bits that I found in there that I thought you might like to see. I love watching hauls and having a little nose and seeing what people picked up. I found some nice little seasonal bits that I thought you might enjoy seeing. And then if you like them, you can check out your local stores because you know what it's like when you see them, you have to get them. Otherwise they sell out and they are super, super early this year and on it so um yeah if you do like anything i would definitely get down to your local um home bargains and b&m because they both seem to have loads and loads of halloween stuff out loads of autumnal stuff christmas bits are starting to go out so yeah if you um you're on the hunt for stuff i'd definitely get down there now so yeah i will show you everything that i picked up and i hope you enjoyed today's video Okay, so we'll start with my favourite item that I found in Home Bargains that I actually really, really wanted when I saw it online. I saw this all over Instagram and I thought I'd go and see if mine had it and they did. So it is this gorgeous little pumpkin mug in this lovely white colour. I'm here for the neutrals. I absolutely love a white, a cream, a beige. Very plain and boring, but absolutely love it. So I do already have this in an orange traditional pumpkin colour which I got last year um so this year I really wanted a white one so I picked up this so as you can see just a little pumpkin shaped mug in the white colour this one was 149 like I said they also had it in a traditional orange pumpkin if that's more your fancy so I'm super excited to have cups of tea and lovely hot chocolates with cream and marshmallows over like autumn or Halloween in that one so that's the first thing I picked up and then I checked out the rest of the Halloween bits. We didn't need a lot, but I thought I'd have a little look. And I picked up a few little bits for Elsie. Elsie is my four-year-old daughter. If you're new to the channel, so I picked her up a few bits to do because obviously she's at school now and they have October half term. So I'd like to keep her busy. So I picked up these. So these are little Halloween sun catchers. So you get four in a pack like that. And then you get the little paints and no paintbrush. There's no paintbrush, but we have paintbrushes at home. So these were only 99p and I'm sure they will keep her busy and she'll really enjoy doing them over. There is a little paintbrush in there. It's more of a little like dropper thing. I swear I'm going blind. But anyway, yeah, 99p and I'm sure they'll keep her entertained and busy over like, so the Christmas holidays. My head's at Christmas at the minute over the October half term. Guys, I've just looked at my receipt. And this one's actually £2.49, not £1.49, so I apologise. £2.49 for the pumpkin mug. So next thing I picked up is a little bit of a random purchase, but I saw this over on someone's Instagram, and they were saying about wearing it for going trick-or-treating. I thought it was a really good idea. So it's a light-up necklace. So it's just this little string of pumpkins, and then you push this little button, and they flash, and it does all different kind of flashes or a continuous light they also had this i think it was ghosts but i thought the pumpkins were really cute this one was one pound 49 i believe i have to keep checking my receipt because i never know one pound 69 for this one um and i thought elsie can wear it when she's trick-or-treating if not then i'll put it on just to you know get in the halloween spirit but i thought that was really cute and then i picked up one of these which I pick up every single year in every single season and it's a surprise bath bomb. They do these at Easter, they do them at Halloween, they do them at Christmas. So we always get one. So it's just a bath bomb and then you get a little squishy toy inside. So you can get a pumpkin, a cat, a ghost or a little Frankenstein. And it's in this orange and yellow colour. So these ones are only one forty nine. Like I said, pick them up every year. So I'll give that to her over October half term or Halloween or something like that so I got her that and then I also found the Christmas one so I got her one of those this is going to be for her Christmas Eve box so in this one you can get a penguin a Christmas tree or a snowman we already have these two so hopefully we get this one this year yeah it's just a little red bath bomb with a little surprise toy in that one was also 149 like I said, I'm starting on Christmas and trying to grab the bits when I see them because otherwise they completely go. So I picked up this. So we had one of these last year and it went down so well with the kids. They absolutely loved it. So it's a colour your own 
tablecloth. So it's just this little tablecloth. It's kind of like a paper, but it's a little bit thicker than paper. And the kids can just colour it in. They absolutely loved it. Last year, like I said, I just stuck this on the table um, Christmas Eve morning with their North Pole breakfast. And they just coloured it in pretty much all throughout the day. So this one was $1.29. This would be great if he's having a little Christmas party for the kids to colour in. Um, it kept my kids, like I said, really busy. And they love doing this all Christmas Eve morning. So I picked up another one of those. And then I picked up one of these, which I thought was super, super cute. So it's these little glitter cups. I loved these when I was little. Did anyone else used to have these? So it's a little plastic tumbler and then it's got Father Christmas in the middle. And then when you shake it, it's got glitter and stars that dance around. And I know Elsie is going to love this. This one was £1.29. I think they had it with a different design in as well. It might have been a gingerbread man or a reindeer or something like that. I just went for the traditional Father Christmas and I thought that was really, really cute. Like I said, Elsie is going to love it. And then I've just spotted another Halloween item that I missed out. And it was this little nest of uh, chocolate figures. So I was going to get the chocolate coins. But I saw these and I thought they were cuter. So you get like a little pumpkin one, a ghost, a witch, a vampire. These were 69p. So that's just something extra to have over Halloween. If you've watched any of my previous Home Bargains hauls, you know that I always, always pick up these hair bows when I see them in Home Bargains. They are super, super cheap, super affordable. So these are only 69p for two, and they do them in so many different colors. So I picked up the red ones. I'm planning on using these over Christmas. And then I also picked up white because we always wear a white bow. I did actually pick up two packs of these, but one's been use and put away and then I also got some navy bows which Elsie has currently got in her hair for school and um, like I said super super affordable these end up getting lost most of the time anyway um or just kind of dirty and stuff where Elsie takes them out of her hair and in and out of her hair so I thought I would pick up some more I then found this little set which I thought was super cute so Elsie is in the stage of dressing up Disney princesses girly girly so she loves little trinkety things like this. So I actually picked this up to go in her stocking. Yes, I'm already thinking of that. We are halfway through September already. So if I see little bits now, I like to pick them up to spread the cost. And then I just know I've got them when it comes to Christmas. So I found this little set and you get a necklace, a little bracelet and a little ring. It's got this cute little rainbow on. They also had a unicorn design. I think there may have been one other. So these were only £1.69, which is super affordable. If you went to like Claire's Accessories or something like that, this is going to cost you about £6. So I thought this would be really cute, like I said, for a stocking stuffer, or you could use it for a little party. If you had like a little kid's party to go to, you can add that to a little present. I just thought it was really cute. So I got that one. Talking of stocking fillers, I also picked up one of these. So I don't know if your children are the same, but... Um, Elsie is still really into fidget toys and poppets and all things like that so I found this and it is a fidget pop and spin so it's got a little it's like a fidget spinner and it's got little poppet things around the edge and this daisy design they also did it in a leopard print design and I think there was a few more so I picked this up like I said for her stocking because it was only 49p so I'm sure she'll love that so next thing I picked up was some Dove tanning lotion. So usually I am a fake tan girl and I will wear the St. Marie's fake tan. I've showed it loads of times on here before. It's my go-to tan. I love it. But sometimes I don't have time or I really can't be bothered to do the whole like tan regime. Sometimes just, yeah, don't have time for it. So I've started using this. So I used to use this years and years ago and I stopped. And then I actually saw this on Stacey Solomon's story. Uh, when she was getting ready for her wedding and it reminded me of it so I picked one up so it's basically a moisturizer that develops into a tan so I just put this on when I get out of the shower in the evening and then by morning it's giving you a nice tan it's a buildable one as well it doesn't leave you looking streaky it has like a slight little biscuity smell to it but that goes once you've um, like woke up in the morning you don't have to rinse anything off so it's a great one if you haven't got much time the Dove Derma Spa summer revive this is medium to dark skin they also do it in a fair to light skin but i prefer the color this one gives 
and this one was 2 dollars so that's a lot cheaper than I've seen it other places, so I picked one of those up. I then picked up a deodorant. I'm not really brand loyal when it comes to deodorant. As long as it smells nice and it does the job, I will get it. So I picked up this Dove Invisible Dry, um, and it is in the White Freesia and Violet Flower scent. This was 169 does what it needs to do, it smells good, so got that one. And then I picked up a pack of nail files because mine are totally just tatty and gross so i picked up a pack of those so that's 10 emery boards and i think these were like 69p they're all the bits that i picked up in home bargains and then in b and i have already shown these in a vlog but if you've not seen it i'll show you now so first thing i picked up was some bird seed mix elsie's absolutely obsessed with feeding birds at the minute so we just picked up a bag of this. This one was £1.9. And then to go along with it, which isn't in the box anymore, we picked up this little bird feeder. So it's this little bird feeder. I just thought this was really, really cute and a little bit different. So it's just got this kind of rope hanging thing and then a little ceramic dish, a little hook to hang it in the garden. So I picked this one up. It was originally £4, but it was down to £1 in my local store. They had lots and lots of bird feeders and outdoor stuff, like super cheap and reduced to clear. So we picked up that one and that will keep Elsie busy feeding her little birds. And then the last thing I picked up in B&M was this. So it's a glass pumpkin candle, which I absolutely loved. I was totally influenced to buy this. I've seen this on Instagram and YouTube and I absolutely loved it. So when I found it, I was very, very happy. So it's this glass um pumpkin and then it has a two wick candle inside and it's in the scent sweet pumpkin and caramel and um i said this in my vlog i'm not 100 percent keen on the smell but i don't plan to burn it i just wanted to use it as decoration i love the neutral color of this it's kind of like a creamy color it looks a bit gold on camera but it's more of a like creamy color and then they also had it in a orangey browny kind of color as well so that one was five pound so i picked up that one so that was everything that i picked up in home bargains and b m like i said wasn't a massive haul but there's some good little seasonal bits out at the minute so definitely check out your stores if you are on the hunt for that sort of thing i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because it really helps me know what you enjoy subscribe if you're not already because i would love to have you here and i will see you all in my next one